Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, it's about a quarter to five, um, 27.4 degrees centigrade, 20% humidity. This thing says it is the 4th of May, Monday, and this one says 82.4 degrees. Batteries aren't completely charged up. Uh, they were this morning, so, um, did have a nice day, like the sun and all that. <clears throat> I can't seem to stay on one project long enough to, uh, to really finish it. I like to kind of tie myself up with all these other little small gigs. And um, with that, I was walking by the club car. And I'm like, yo, this thing hasn't run right since I bought it. What's wrong with this pig? And to that end, I started working on it. So first of all, if you look right there, if you guys could read that, you will see that it's a 1993 club car. I got this from a buddy of mine, Charlie, um, I don't know, more than a year ago, more than two years ago, maybe three years ago, something like that. And it's always been finicky about starting. I thought it was the key switch. It wasn't that. Um, turns out when you step on the gas pedal, right, you engage these two relays, these micro switches. And this top micro switch is the one that engages this contactor, which engages the starter. And the starter is also the generator, so it basically engages this contactor and everything's happy. Turns out, this is bad. When I had trouble with this last year, you guys told me it was going. Well, it completely went. I couldn't get it to start, so I replaced, or I bypassed it. See, I put that fuse in there. So when I turn on the key, motor go round and round. Let me show you. So there you go, motor go round and round. Now, I did get it running, and I was running it up and down the driveway, and it was running really, really bad, like Rich. So I'm like, Rich, maybe the gas is no good? So I bypassed the gas tank, and I put that little gas tank here, right? And you guys could see the gas line, and it goes through the firewall right down here to the filter and to the engine. So I did that, and it ran exactly the same, no better. And I'm like, y you know, shoot. Um, though I use the more adult version of the word shoot. And I'm running it up and down the driveway, and it just seems to be running rich. So the air box was in place. And the hosing was all hooked up, right? And I opened this cover up. I got it jacked up. And uh, started it up. When I opened the cover, it ran better. So I took a look at the air filter. And the air filter doesn't look too bad. So I'm like, what else could be wrong? So I took the box off. And check it out. I got bees building nests or caterpillars or whatever the hell it is right this is the air intake right you push that button in to engage the choke kind of seals it off but those bees are sealing it off you can see all the little catacombs here right so i gotta clear that out and we'll see if that fixes it i'm hoping for the best so what did I learn? I learned gas pedals control micro switches, and micro switches control relays. So that was problem number one. Problem number two was because it's been acting up so much, I stopped using it, and uh, the bees 
or caterpillars or whatever the hell they are, you know, built. I mean, this stuff is tough. Oh, a little, little larvae there. Oh, there you go. I don't know what the hell it is, but now it's dead. I literally had, wow, I mean they are completely plugged up. Wow. So, I mean these are, that one died. That one's probably going to dry out and die also. Anyway, so. Hopefully it's not some rare bug uh, that, you know, shouldn't have been whacked like that. But uh, I'm going to have to finish cleaning those out. I'll put it all back together again. And maybe we'll take it out for a quick, quick rip snort around the property. Around the front yard, anyway. I'm still wearing shorts, so I really don't want to go driving around where the, uh, where the ticks are. Folks, I want to thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please remember to enjoy all your days. 231, this is a nice short one for you. Um, hopefully you stayed awake for it. Bye now.